Hey everyone, Sean here, and welcome to a video pretty much relating to car detailing, at least from this angle, um, coming in anyway. But this could also serve as a general review for those who are looking for a water distiller. Thing, uh, hence the um, title of the video. So, why um, why did I get this in the first place? So. As a car detailer or a car car washing enthusiast, uh, first off, I wash my car bi-weekly. Um, I'm, I am a, you know, sort of that weekend warrior, as some people would say. I wash my car on the weekends uh, or off my or any off day um, from work, and essentially, um, I like to wash my car a little more than others, essentially, and um, I like to do it safely, efficiently. You know, just to get the best as much as possible within what I could reach, you know, without going too overboard out of my budget, you know, a little more above average Joe kind of thing, right? So, um, I looked around, there are plenty of systems that do um, spotless water treatment sort of things. I do have a water deionizer system of sorts, I kind of like rigged it myself, sort of. Um, in a way, but um, with my water anyway, uh, as someone who lives in California, we have some ha we have some of the hardest water there is, and with the system I have anyway, it does bring it down, but not completely down to zero ppm. So um, I looked into other methods, hoping to find something within my reach, and thus I came across this water distiller unit. So, um, distilled water does have its purpose, especially in cleaning, right? Not just your car, but, you know, in the house, you know, bathtubs, um, steamers, you know, you name it, right? Uh, showers and stuff like that, because regular water that comes out of your hose, your sink, your faucet, has all kinds of lime scale mineral, minerals that leave nasty, um, aftermaths, right? We all know. Um, we've all been there as uh, people who, you know, clean try or try to clean their house, you know, windows and stuff like that. They leave that nasty uh, spots behind. And we all know as car enthusiasts, right, when we're washing our cars, we definitely do not want water spotting. Hence why spotless systems exist in the first place because they leave nasty etching on your paint. So hence why I'm here to tell you guys about this unit from the angle or perspective of a car detailer. So how is it, how it works, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to probably babble on a little bit here and there. But I just want to talk about this water distiller unit because I want to tell you guys uh, whether it works or not for um, car detailing at home. Now, first off, first and foremost, um, this is definitely not for professionals, right? You know, you need large quantities of um, spot-free water. Hence why you go to places that just sell it by the gallons and gallons and gallons. Whereas you can make gallons out of this, but throughout the week. So already there, this is definitely for the home user, right? So keep that in mind. You're not going to be producing gallons and gallons of um, of water, you know, like that. Whereas if you're just, you know, washing your car here and there, this is definitely something for you. Um, if you're, you know, that hobbyist, if you're that, you know, the weekend warrior, if you only wash your car bi-weekly or even weekly, that works too. Um, like myself, I wash my car bi-weekly. And, 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 you know... Um, it's just for you and maybe a couple of uh, family members, then this is something for you. More, at least more up your guys' alley. So, so this, uh, so keep that in mind. Don't buy this thinking, oh, this is going to be part of my reg regime for uh, mobile, mobile detailing and stuff like that. You're not going to get too far with this unit anyway. Unless you buy a huge, you know, wire distil distillation unit, then by all means, I guess. But, no average Joe is going to do that. Trust me. So, yes, this is uh, particularly a 1.6 gallon unit. Um, I bought off of Amazon for about 100 bucks, more or less. 
Um, and what it comes with is, of course, this main unit here, but also it comes with um, the 1.6 gallon jug right here as well, or maybe it's probably around one and a half, take it as you will. But anyways, it's a little more, more than um, a gallon for sure, right? And how it works, uh, for those who don't know about the, uh, water distillation to, I hate to use the, you know, uh, no pun intended, but what it boils down to simply is that you're boiling water, water evaporates, right? We all know that uh, if you introduce heat to water, it turns into a gas and um, in distilled water is basically evaporated water condensed and collected into, well, um, a container of sorts. And what's special about distilled water is that it's absolutely pure. No minerals, no nothing. It's just pure water because uh, when you evaporate water, of course, everything heavier than water gets left behind. And that, of course, includes lime scaling, um, calcium, you name it. That's what causes that nasty spotting that you see on cars, but also on windows, glass, um, countertops, you know, and the buildup you see in showers, sinks, bathtubs, you name it. That's what that's what is gets left behind, right? That's why you see that spotting because of what? Well, guess what? Water evaporates, right? So this is what is going to take away uh, from your water, and thus, when once you collect it into a jug or container, you have spot-free water theoretically, right? Um, that's the idea, at least. So that's what it's supposed to do. How it does it, um, in this case right here, how you use this unit is pretty simple. It's pretty much plug and play. Um, you're, it's kind of like, uh, think of it like a glorified teapot. You know, um, you put it on the stove, you turn it on to get uh, hot water, right? And you see how, you know, the water shoots through the little spout and it whistles right telling you uh, the water is very hot kind of like that obviously there's a little more to it than that so basically yes the water is boiling in here all the water vapor goes up and this top unit has a fan and a cooling system in here and thus uh create and that and that what's uh creating that water con uh, condensation, and once that once that's um, accumulated enough, it goes through the spout down into um, this jug of, of water or uh, water jug right here, until of course you run out of water. So this holds just about one point you know six one and a half gallons of water. Um, it could be f straight from your hose, or you could pre-treat it a little bit with a water softener, and then you can throw it into here, which I kind of do recommend just because it, you know, less work for the unit uh, and less messy at that, um, at that too. And we're going to get into that uh, later on in the video. But overall, it is very simple to use once you um, find the right instructions. So um, right away with this unit... Um, unfortunately, I have to dock at a point because of the instruction man manual that it comes with. While, it, yes, it does tell you what comes with it and all that stuff, the, wa uh, the manual of, of itself is uh, very poor at explaining how you're supposed to get it started. Um, it doesn't really tell you well enough of how to, you know, really, you know, how things work and stuff like that, what goes to where, you know, how to get this going and stuff like that, but... Basically, um, this top unit has its own uh, power cable, right? So you plug that into here to the main body, and the main po uh, the main body gets its power from, of course, here. And this, of course, plugs into your um, outlet from your house, so the house powers, um, you know, uh, into here into the main body, and then the main body transfers the power also into the fan as well. So not only you're going to heat up the main body, thus creating that water vapor, you're going to cool it with the fan, um, exhausting um, any sort of uh, uh, hot air or whatever, um, 
you know, creating that circulation from the fan here. It go, uh, it, it comes up and stuff like that. Though the air itself, I don't think it's too hot. Um, I, I don't think it even you can even call it warm. It's pretty lukewarm at at best, at, or at worst, I should say, um, depending on how you look at it. There are some diff, uh, d uh, things that are different from other water distillation units as well. They do have similar ones on, uh, across the board on, on Amazon. What separates what uh, what separates this from the rest of them is that um, not, it's not so much plug and play. Uh, it actually comes with a rocker switch right here, so you can turn it off, on and off. But it also comes with a reset button right there, and also it has a little light indicator uh, when it's on. So it'll turn red when it's hot or get, it's going to get hot, and then you know thus it's working, right? Uh, of course, uh, speaking of which, when it gets hot, um, the body itself is not hot, right? The outer exterior doesn't get hot, so that way, of course, it doesn't melt this cable right here. But you know, in case you you know something you have somehow touch it, it's not gonna burn you or anything like that. It does have a uh, exterior shell that insulates, it keeps the heat you know inside the thing. It insulates it, it doesn't conduct the heat, therefore you don't burn your hand or anything like that. So you can kind of move it around a little bit if you need to for whatever reason when it's operating. But you want to be careful though with electronics and water, right? Keep that in mind. But otherwise though, it is really simple. It is plug and play. Um, you definitely, you can definitely just plug it in and it'll turn on if you want, if you leave the rocker switch on on. Uh, if it doesn't work, then you just hit the uh, reset button and it'll also turn it on, uh, hopefully. So that is the basics of it anyway on operating on uh, the wire distillation unit. Um, little tips and tricks and stuff like that. What I do recommend though is have a timer, right? Um, so I have this uh, timer right here. It's one of those like semi sort of uh, mechanical timers. You can wind yourself and um, it has like 15 minute increments and stuff like that. Uh, it's from B BN Link, I think it's called, or the uh, company that makes these things. Pretty cool uh, because um, it helps you prematurely turn off the unit because that's something you definitely want to do. Overall, I think when you put a full uh, thing of water in here, which is about, like I said, 1.6 gallons, one and a half, um, that takes about more or less six hours overall, right? That's the kind of number you're going to be dealing with when you're um, going through the process, right? So uh, 1.5 gallons more or less um, take, uh, of distilled water comes from five, uh, six hours of water distillation. So um, yeah. So you can do the math there of how much water you want or need or whatever, you know, and stuff like that and make a decision from there. But um, I do recommend a timer, though, because you definitely don't want to go for the full six hours or whatever, because what happens is um, the unit itself does turn off automatically if you don't have a timer. But um, it does that when the bottom is dry. And we all know um, up to this point that, you know, there is minerals on the bottom, right? Lime scaling and calcium and stuff like that stuck on the bottom. So what you're doing is you're kind of cooking the minerals more into the stainless steel body um, inside. In fact, um, let me try to do, let me try to open up the body itself. So let me go ahead and unplug this. And you uh, grab onto this handle right here, and it kind of—it actually comes off pretty easily. So, just like so, put that top unit over there. And that is safe. And you can take a take a look on the inside a little bit, and then you can see how it looks after when it's done. So, right now the water um, at this point has evaporated. Right, the rest of it has evaporated, but. Um, you can kind of see what happens though when you leave it. Uh, if you if you you know go through the full six hours, it kind of actually burns the minerals onto the bottom, and um, you can't quite get that off easily. 
So, when you buy uh, this unit, at least, it comes with this. This is a uh, cleaning agent of sorts for this unit right here. So every so often, you can um, actually put some water in here and put um, a couple tablespoons of the powder or the cleaning agent in there. And you actually, uh, I guess you're supposed to boil it, right? You turn on the unit, don't leave the, or don't put the top on, uh, top on because you're not um, making distilled water from there. You don't want to do that. Um, and you're supposed, you're supposed to cook the cleaning agent uh, with the, 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 what do you call it, the mineral deposit or whatever on the bottom. And what that does, it, it actually, you know, gets the reaction going, right? We all know with acid and stuff like that, when you cook acid and all that stuff, um, that's, uh, you know, how it effectively cleans out the unit. For warning though, it is quite caustic. So when you're working with acid and cooking it and stuff like that, you definitely have to be careful because when you do that, you release acidic gas into the air, right? Or acidic vapor, you know, cause you're dealing with water vapor and plus uh, acid. So that comes, goes in the air. When you uh, try to breathe it in, it hurts. It's ca very caustic. So you definitely want to be careful with that. Especially when you, you know, uh, do it indoors, like in a garage, for example. Um, and you're supposed to do that for what? Tw 15 to 20 minutes. But by that time, your garage is going to be, be full of that, that nasty smelling, acidic and caustic air. Um, I actually did it once and I uh, experienced that. So yeah, you definitely want to be careful with that stuff. But yes, it did clean off the bottom, but I just used it again very recently. So now we have more, more uh, lime scale and stuff like that back again. But um, yeah, that's what I just thought I'd tell you guys my experience with that. So, um, cleaning, uh, cleaning and maintenance of it is a whole nother thing, which, uh, it is pretty easy to do or easy to understand, but doing it is, um, you know, a whole nother thing. So, you know, depending on your patients and stuff like that, um, you know, it really is up to you whether you want to get this unit or not up to this point. But um, what I'm going to do or try to do is just let the uh, water and the cleaning agent, um, you know, sit there for like, you know, 24 hours and then come back to it and then clean it off, scrub it off with some sort of brush. I, I use this um, brush right here to, you know, scrape off any other, any, um, caked on you know minerals and stuff like that that could possibly be stuck in there but it'll it'll come off hopefully with the uh, the 24-hour method but yes for sure boiling it will definitely get it off uh, more so but uh that got, that comes with a warning though because yeah again you definitely want to have a well ventilated room because you don't want a, a room full of acidic vapor in your in your house so <laughs> you definitely want to be very careful with that because again, I, I just experienced that very recently. So, uh, for those who don't know already though, this cleaning agent is just basically uh, citric acid. So you can just buy, you know, a, you know, pounds of citric acid for pretty cheap. And you can also use it for other purposes, like a, cl um, a cleaning spray or something, or a cleaning, a cleaning agent for your house use as well. So not only you, you have something for your water distillation unit, but you also have have something for the rest of your house. You can definitely use it on your window. You can definitely use it on your countertops, your uh, bathroom sinks and bathtubs and toilets and all that stuff. Um, it's going to have a lot of uses. So, you know, it comes with, it, it, that kind of gives you an excuse to get citric acid as well. Or if you happen to have citric acid lying around the house, you know, all the way around. You can definitely just use it for this um, distillation unit right here. So that is uh, what it's like to maintain uh, this unit. So it is up to you uh, whether to uh, get this water distillation unit for whatever reason you want to use it for. Um, for me, I'm still going to use it for guard detailing. But, but specifically, though, I am going to use it for 
by rinseless washes and also just mixing my chemicals for you know uh, my spray bottles and stuff like that uh, because you definitely want to use some sort of distil distilled water with your solutions and stuff like that to make those solutions um, because if you just use regular tap water it'll kind of interfere with the cleaning power it'll also leave something behind if you don't clean it off carefully right or thoroughly so that's why I'm, I'm kind of like taking it that extra mile for myself to um, use distilled water so um, if maintained properly I believe this is more cost effective because you you know um, distilled water can cost you some 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 pennies over time right like more and more I should say more and more pennies right because you're paying for the plastic bottle you know the fact that you're not really getting in you know huge bulk or anything like that you know yeah you can buy it by the gallons but still like I think making your own distilled water is a little more satisfying in a way so there is that aspect as well but the caveat to that though yes it does come with that cleaning and maintenance you have to take care in mind right but also there's this another caveat though it does kind of smell right because when you cook minerals from your tap water it gives up that that smell it's hard to explain but imagine trying to cook with just straight tap water and um you know um and having to deal with the cooked minerals kind of smells pretty bad <laughs> to me anyway so unfortunately yes it does come with a charcoal filter that you put in the spout um, I don't want to take it out right now but um, when, uh, but unfortunately it doesn't quite work so maybe the um, charcoal uh, charcoal filter that came that came from uh, the packaging with this uh, unit doesn't quite work so you probably have to buy a separate charcoal uh, filter made for the uh, just made for um, the water distillers uh, that could work um, you know there there are I think maybe several kinds of them on Amazon so take your pick experiment with it um, I'll probably I'll definitely do the same for myself but yes um, it does smell for those who wonder uh, the water the, the the final product that you make it does smell but um, the results do pay off though because I'm about to show you guys how much ppm um, the what do you call it? the water produces right after water distillation so hopefully you guys can see this let's uh, let's go dip it into the thing right here and hopefully, hopefully you guys can see this, but um, let me see if I can hold the units. Let me see, ah, get, get an accurate reading. But um, I'll try to hit the hold button right here. Okay, well, it was showing um, two PPM, but yes. This is uh, what you're gonna be looking at here. You're gonna have uh, just about 1 ppm to 2 ppm so depending on how hard your water is how correctly you do it quote unquote um, I mean it really well I hate to you know use this you know, pun but no pun intended whatever but it boils down to your water and, you know because you're just boiling water and you're just leaving it um, and you just kind of do it let, let it do its thing so I like the fact that you can kind of like plug it in and walk away from it and it'll turn off automatically but um, again use a timer and so um, that you can leave a little bit of water on the bottom so that way it doesn't burn up the bottom completely dry so that's why you kind of want a timer that way you don't get that so uh, what happened to me was that uh, I guess um, I put a little less water than I thought and so my usual timing was a little too much. So I'll probably dial it back to like five and a half hours or yeah, five and a half hours instead of five and five uh, hours and 45 minutes. So that's what I did. Um, and unfortunately it was a little too much for um, the amount of water I put recently. So yeah, but yeah, um, your most likely results is going to be water with one or two PPM. So. 
Um, that's the closest I've ever gotten to zero uh, ppm. Even my wire deionizer system that I have can't really do that for some reason. So I don't know if it's just my water or the unit that I have. I don't know what the case is, but yeah. So um, I won't, uh, you know, I guess be able to get ever P zero ppm water, but the water distillation unit is the best way from my uh, experience anyway, or from my perspective uh, anyway, with the water that I have. So again, I live in South Cal uh, Southern California. And yes, it is pretty infamous for hard water. So there is that as well. So I guess I have that excuse. Unless you have a top unit, you know, top, sh top shelf system for spotless water, great. But uh, with, the, with the thing I have, you know, coming from an average Joe, can't quite get there unless I use um, a water distillation unit, unit then I can get one ppm water or two ppm water right so I uh, for right now um, keep in the jug or um, pour into here which is a one uh, this is about a three gallon um, jug right here that I have a little pouring spout right there and I put um, water into there and I mix um, you know rinse this wash in there or whatever I want in there and I also put it into spray bottles and I mix it with whatever cleaner I have and that's how I am going to use this distilled water right here so I won't use it for that uh, that final rinse so to say but it's going to be in conjunction with the rinses washing stuff like that and I'm going to use the water deionization system that I have um, rigged onto my cart over there for that final rinse quote unquote and then the rinse and wash I use is kind of there for um, the drying aid slash drying uh, lubricant or whatever. So that way, um, I have you know the safest wash as uh, much as possible. So, uh, so I kind of like at this point have adopted some sort of like uh, hybrid system for spotless water. So I'm going to both use a water distillation unit and the water deionizer. Um, to wash my car so that's how I'm going to do it but yeah that's just my experience with this water distillation unit overall I do like it I don't mind the process of it and I kind of don't mind the sort of the hassles that it comes with right so so again it's easy to use uh, once you actually know what's going on um, just read up on the reviews they know what they're doing um, you know and um, unlike the instruction manual unfortunately it's not very clear of what goes where and whatever um but yeah so um the unit of itself isn't too big i forgot to talk about that not super heavy either so you can like put it onto your uh countertop or fridge or mini fridge whatever um whatever place you can come up with it's pretty safe for the most part it doesn't get super hot uh, when it's operating you just have to be careful with the water not hitting this part. The like water and electronics don't mix. We all know that. Um, so you gotta be very careful with that uh, in mind. But um, once you you know cut, got the rhythm down, it's pretty easy. You just pour water in there, plug it in, and walk away and do whatever else you want to do. And an extra little tip, just to reiterate, get a time, get yourself a timer, set it to about five and a half hours, just to be safe. And then, you know, that way you don't burn up the, the bottom, right, too much. And you're going to have yourself some nice distilled water, which unfortunately kind of smells. But if you don't want to smell, then we're good, right? So, um, yeah, so when I, yeah, smell the final product, unfortunately, yeah, it has that, like, that, that processed mineral smell to it, kind of. I think it's because of the smell of the burning unit in here or something like that i don't know um if it was a bigger much bigger unit then maybe that's uh that might minute minimize that smell but i don't know i don't know uh, what do i know right so but yes this is uh yes uh a water distiller unit from amazon i forget the brand name or company name or whatever but uh, i'll link it down in the description below i'll try not to forget um, I also try to like link the jug right here. I also got this from Amazon as well. Um, I'll link it as well. And also this timer, because why not, right? 
So pretty handy uh, to have if you're gonna plan to do this sort of stuff for whatever purpose. In my case, it's going to enhance my car washing experience. So yep, uh, that's my sort of thoughts, review, and experience with this water distillation unit um, from the perspective of a uh, car detailing enthusiast, not a professional. Uh, yeah, so that's all I got. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, um, leave it down below and I'll try to do my best to answer those questions and engage with those comments, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you found it interesting or informative at least. Um, you know, this is one more way to get yourself a safe spotless wash for your own car, maybe your family members' cars. Um, but the quantity that it produces, it's not quite fast. So definitely not in a professional setting, but for what it is, it works. So keep that all in, keep that all in mind. Would I recommend it? Sure. If you're a, uh, just a how the home user, right? Um, again, just to be clear, do not use this for a professional setting, you know, unless maybe that pinch, you're in that pinch, right? I guess, but I don't know. Anyways, thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out. Oh yeah, don't forget to thumbs up.